I want to tackle first an extremely important question that at least I ask myself. How do you pronounce this month? How do you pronounce February? In the United States, the most common pronunciation is feb u -ary. People have been avoiding that R for at least 150 years. So think about these words and just be really honest with yourself if you're saying these R's. Like in the word surprise, or governor, or particular. I miss the R in these words, but that might just be because of where I'm from. You might also miss them as well. We skip it because in the English language, it's not too natural to have two R's very close next to each other. After 130 years, it can be hard to come up with new flavors, so McCormick is turning towards artificial intelligence for help. The AI system was trained on decades worth of data about spices and flavors to come up with new flavor combos. TV host Andy Cohen is a dad. The 50-year-old posted on Instagram that Benjamin Allen Cohen was born on Monday. Cohen announced on his program in December that he was expecting a child after many years of careful deliberation. A city in Iowa loses an appeal of electrical damage caused by a squirrel. The Iowa Supreme Court says an insurance company doesn't have to pay for any damages after a squirrel climbed onto an electrical transformer and triggered a high voltage spark that damaged its city's power substation. Finally, happy National Weather Person Day. You'll see that hashtag used online today. Why don't you thank them and why don't you stray away from commenting on their physical appearances because that's never good. The worst. Have a fantastic day. I'm Matt Cardona. I will see you tomorrow.